Hello students. Today we are going to discuss a poem which is taken from class 9th book B hive titled On Killing a Tree written by G Patel. So we will have a discussion about the poet then the introduction of the poem and the summary. This is the first part of the poem. So let's begin. G Patel He is an Indian Parsi poet born in 1946 in Mumbai and he is a poet playwright painter and doctor by profession He belongs to a group of writers who have subscribed themselves to the green movement So he is a poet actually but by profession he is a general practitioner he is a doctor His poems speaks of deep concerns for nature and expose man's cruelty to it all his poems are having a theme which surrounds near about the nature he is having a deep concern for nature the point it is written that he has subscribed himself to green movement human body is a recurrent theme in his poems he has always used human body in, as a theme in his poems hence he is called poet of the body he is also called the poet of the body because in his poems though the poems are having a deep concern with nature but human body is a recurrent theme in his poems introduction of the poem in this poem the poet sensitizes and symbolizes a deep rooted evil he has used the title on killing a tree but he is actually sensitizing and symbolizing that how a deep rooted evil is to be eliminated from the society it is not so easy so he says that a tree can't be killed out just by hacking and chopping it so the poet says that it is not so easy to kill a tree just by chopping or by hacking but just by cutting we cannot kill a tree to put it out to a permanent end it should be uprooted entirely that means it should be taken out from the roots it should be pulled out from the roots and left out to wither in the sun and it should be left out to decay in the sun to wither in the sun means to decay in the sun in the same way the social evil can't be put out just by criticizing them we cannot just take out or dug out any social evil just by criticizing about it just by talking about it we need many amendments and many strict rules to take it out from our society the society should root them up to die forever so that that social evil could die forever and it will not raise again now let's switch to the summary of the poem the poem on killing a tree by g patel represents the sturdiness of a fully grown tree it tells the strength the power of a fully grown tree you all have seen trees how strengthful they are how powerful they are it is not so easy to just make that tree shake or to just dug it out to just kill it it's not easy strengthened by nourishment from the earth it has taken strength from the nourishment and that nourishment he has it has got from the earth the sun and the air the minerals the nutrients the tree is getting from the earth and from the air and water the poem conveys the message that trees are living beings just like any other form of life here the poet says that we should count trees as a living form they too have a life just like me and you the poem compares the process of cutting down trees to committing an act of murder the poem here compares that when you are cutting a tree you are actually committing an act of murder you are murdering a tree the poet presents this view in an ironic and sarcastic tone he has used iron ironic tone and sarcastic tone the pain experienced by trees by being killed dominates the mood of the poem the mood of the poem is being dominated by the pain which the tree is experiencing when it is being killed it opens with a statement that killing a tree takes a lot of time 
the beginning lines of the poem says that it takes a lot of time and labor to kill a tree it is not so easy to kill a tree it is not easy to kill a deep rooted tree it takes much time to kill it you need enough time to kill a tree a tree is too strong to be killed by a simple attack of a knife just by a simple attack or simple knife you cannot kill a tree you can cut a tree but that cut will be healed with the with the time it has grown slowly consuming the earth feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight it has taken a lot of time to a tree to grow in a, in its full strength and it has taken all the nutrients and minerals from the soil and it has absorbed sunlight for years so it it will not be so easy to kill a tree the strength it has stored through a long period of hard work and patience cannot be destroyed in one go the strength of the tree cannot be destroyed cannot be ruined just in one go when a tree is chopped the bark bleed the bark bleed here means when you cut or you just put an axe on a tree on that on that tree's bark it start boozing out some sap some blood some kind of liquid and that is what here it is and bleeds the bark bleed but soon they heal up and expand again to their former size but that will be healed with the time and it will again have its former size it will expand if one wants to kill a tree it has to be pulled out of the anchoring earth where the earth has given its strength to the tree the roots if you want to kill a tree you have to take the tree out of the soil or out of the earth from its roots its most sensitive part that is roots has to be exposed to the sun and the air and when you have dug it out from the soil the roots have to be exposed in the sun and the air and once it is done the tree is killed and when this process is being done finally the tree is killed the poet has used a like reverse psychology here he is sensitizing the readers that if you are cutting a tree you just think upon that how you, the tree had grown up and it is an actually an act of murdering so he is sensitizing the readers and if we talk about a deeper reflection we know that the poet is only trying to use the analogy of the entire process of killing a tree to depict the painful process of rooting out evil from the society which has rooted itself so deeply that it is difficult to eliminate it the poet is actually talking that it is not so easy to take out an a social evil from the society which has made its roots so deep it cannot be eliminated till the source of all evil is ex- uprooted and exposed so the point is saying that it's not so easy until and unless you are not taking all the sources of that evil out of the society now let's switch towards the explanation of the poem and stanza 1 it says it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it so the poet is saying when you have to cut a tree or when you have to kill a tree he is not talking about cutting just cutting a tree but here he is talking about to kill a tree it will take a lot of time and a lot of labor and not a simple jab simple jab means a sudden rough blow not sim- not just a rough blow will do it will do your work it has grown slowly consuming the earth the tree has grown slowly that means it has taken years to grow and consuming the earth it had consumed the earth's nutrient rising out of it feeding upon its crust crust means earth 
uppermost layer so it has come out of it and it has feeded upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its leprous hide leprous hide means the brownish bark or the discolored bark it's not uh, actually of the same color you will see that the bark of the tree it's dark from some some point or and a little bit uh, of different color from other side so it is discolored so and out of its leprous hide and leprous here means that discolored bark along with that leprous word is being used as leprosy leprosy is a skin problem where the uh, discoloration of the skin starts occurring and he has used that term over here sprouting leaves so the poet says that and out of those leprous hide those leprous bark those that undiscolored bark the leaves will sprout out stanza 2 so hack and chop so hack and chop but this alone won't do it so the poet says if you just cut roughly i have given the meaning in the end hack it means cut roughly by striking heavy blows so the poet says if you just cut roughly by giving heavy blows to the tree or just chop it but this alone won't do it this will not do anything not so much pain will do it it will not give it pain the bleeding bark here the bleeding bark means the sap or the liquid which comes out of the trunk of the tree see there is a picture which is showing the some sap which is coming out of the tree so the poet says that the bleeding bark he has actually uh, just uh, compared it with the human blood that it will heal it will be healed and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs and after some time from those things from from those branches small little green twigs will start rising again miniature boughs miniature boughs means small mini branches tiny branches will start up rising again which if unchecked will expand again and if you are not checking it if you are not keeping a check on it it will start expanding again and again to a former size and it will again form a that size no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out so the poet is saying just by chopping or by hacking in the first two stanzas the poet has explained that simple ch chopping or hacking will not do anything with the tree and if you have to cut the tree if you have to kill the tree what you have to do is that the root is to be pulled out the tree is to be pulled out from the roots so the roots is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth and it has to be pulled out from the earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out and then it should it will be chopped out so anchoring earth means trees are held securely with the help of the roots in the earth they are held securely over there and one has to take it out from there out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed so the poet is saying or pulled out enti entirely from the earth cave from where the uh, the tree has made its root and then the tree is to be exposed the source white and wet the source here means the roots which are white and they are wet the most sensitive and they are the most sensitive part which is hiding or hidden for years inside the earth it it is hiding for years deep under the earth and it has to be taken out the roots have to be taken out and then only the killing of tree will be done then the matter of scorching and chalking it means the scorching and chalking means the drying up of the tree after being uprooted when the tree is uprooted and it is left in the sun to decay that process okay the then the matter of scorching and chalking in sun and air browning hardening 
twisting withering and then it is done and when you will just take the tree out of the earth with the roots and it will be browned it will be made more hardened in the sun and in the air when it is exposed to the air the job is done and the job is of killing a tree and then it is done so here was the explanation of the poem where the poet says that killing a tree is not so easy and for it you need to have a lot of strength and you have to take it out from the roots this is how killing of a tree is done i hope you have understood the summary of the poem and the explanation of the stanzas now let's move towards the literary devices which are being used in the poem see you have gone through the poem there is no rhyme scheme in the poem it is written in free verse free verse means there is no rhyme or rhythm in the poem so the poem is written in free verse metaphor that is indirect comparison when you are not using as or like word so in this poem words are being used like leprous height the uneven color of the surface of the trunk of a tree is compared to the skin of a person suffering from leprosy so leprous height that is the color of the bark that uneven color of the bark is compared to the skin of a person who is suffering from leprosy then bleeding bark bleeding bark means that the sap coming out of a tree where it is cut is compared to the bleeding from the wound in a human's body and it is compared to the blood of the human the next technique which is being used here is alliteration that is the repetition of a constant sound in two or more closely placed words like bleeding bark ber sound is used white and wet ber sound is used and then repetition a word or sentence which is repeated to lay emphasis and in this poem the word pulled out is repeated number of times to just lay more stress or emphasis let's have the question answers of the poem your first question says can a simple jab of the knife kill a tree why not so the answer is no a simple jab of the knife cannot kill a tree killing a tree is not easy unless it is pulled out from the roots it cannot die if the roots stay in the soil they will sprout again and grow into a tree question number 2 says how has the tree grown to its full size how the tree has grown to its full size you have to list the words suggestive of its life and activity some of the words which suggest its life and activity the answer says like the tree has grown by consuming the earth it rises out of the earth by feeding upon its crust and absorbing years of sunlight air and water your third question says what is the meaning of bleeding bark now the question has asked about the bleeding bark what does it mean what makes it bleed bark is the external part of a branch of a tree when it is cut some kind of a liquid oozes out of it so when you cut a tree or you when you just uh, cut the bark of the tree some kind of liquid oozes out which is similar to the bleeding that happens when a part of the human body is cut an axe or a knife makes the tree bleed and what makes it bleed an axe or a knife when you cut a tree with using an axe or a knife the tree starts bleeding that is that liquid comes starts coming out question number 4 says the poet says no in the beginning of this third stanza we have gone through the stanzas it, there was a word no in the beginning of the stanza third 
what does he mean by this so what the poet wanted to say about it the answer goes like this by using the word no at the beginning of the third stanza the poet wishes to stress that a simple act of chopping or hacking will not be sufficient to kill a tree question number 5 what is the meaning of anchoring earth and earth cave so now the question says that what do you understand by anchoring earth and earth cave so the term anchoring earth implies that the earth allows the roots of the tree to penetrate and then hold it tight the term earth cave refers to the large hole inside the earth in which the roots of a tree are anchored so that the earth can protect and nurture it by allowing the roots to spread and draw out nourishment question number 6 what does he mean by the strength of the tree exposed the strength of the tree is exposed when it is pulled out from its roots the roots are the strongest part of a tree and when they are pulled out the strength is gone and the tree dies your last question from the book says what finally kills the tree the act of pulling out a tree from its roots and then letting it lie exposed to the sun to scorch it and choke it in the air then the bark of the tree turns brown and gets harder this process finally completes the act of killing the tree i hope you have understood the question and answers of this poem on killing a tree now let's have some hots some questions which you have to answer by understanding the poem question number 1 justify the title of the poem on killing a tree these questions students you can answer yourself and it will be helpful for you to understand the poem more it seems the poet had a deliberate plan behind using the term killing a tree what do you think he did that question number 2 it was question number 3 write a critical appraisal of the poem on killing a tree you have to write a critical appraisal that what you have understood and critically you have to think about and write question number 4 the poem on killing a tree is a forewarning to man about his bleak future which will end up in his own death and destruction it is actually a warning forewarning means a warning which is given before hand that whatever you are doing it will be leading you towards death and destruction do you agree why why not you have to justify your answer question number 5 how can you as a citizen of the world help in protecting the environment to a healthy revival of the ailing planet with specific reference to protection of forests so see these questions are some value based questions which could be asked in your board exams as long answers also so i hope you have understood the poem and uh, it will be helpful for you to understand the poem thank you so much